Is it really possible to avoid hip joint replacement surgery? Yes, it absolutely is. In all cases of hip arthritis, the hip joint here is being over compressed for a long time and that's what causes irritation of the ball onto the socket joint. And if we can uncompress or take pressure off the ball from the socket, then you have a chance at allowing the cartilage in there to begin to heal and recover so that you can get back to feeling normal again. The problem is that most healthcare professionals won't teach you this because they don't teach this to them in their schooling. What they learn in school is to treat hip arthritis with medications, injections, and with surgery. But we know that medications and injections don't take pressure off the ball and socket joint. And surgery replaces the ball and the socket, it replaces the joint surfaces, but it doesn't decrease the forces going through the joint. There's still an underlying root problem that causes too much pressure through the joint. And it's that muscles on the front of the hip joint, the hip flexors usually, along with some quad muscles, some of the thigh muscles, they are too strong and too dominant. And so they're compressing the front of the joint. And then on the back of the joint, the glutes muscles, the butt muscles are usually too weak. And I find consistently that people that have hip arthritis don't have good butt muscle strength. Some aren't even able to use their butt muscles. They can't activate them properly, much less use them effectively during their everyday motions like walking and getting up and walking around the home. So they have this imbalance and it's causing excessive compression at the hip joint. Now it's a two-step process that we teach in our treatment approach for hip arthritis. And they're both focused on taking pressure off the joints. First one involves offloading the joint using things like crutches, a cane, or a walker, depending on what you need for your balance and to take enough pressure off the hip joints. These tools help you to lean pressure through your hands and take pressure off the ball and socket joints so that cartilage can heal. Once you've calmed down the hip joint enough, then we need to fix that muscle imbalance where the hip flexors and quad muscles are too strong by strengthening the back of the hip. And there's other muscles to strengthen as well. I'm, I'm giving you the simple plan here. But once you strengthen the right muscles and fix the muscle imbalance, then you can have an offloaded hip joint for the long term. We do this every day here in my clinic with the patients that are, that are seen here in person. And we do this online with people that are watching our videos all over the world through YouTube and other social media platforms, and as well as through our hip arthritis recovery program. This program is a comprehensive program where I've put my entire treatment approach thoroughly into over 30 videos that you can watch and see exactly what to do step by step. Go down into the link in the description below and you'll find it there for the hip arthritis recovery program. As long as you have an internet connection and you can watch a video on your device, you should be able to watch this program and help heal your hip naturally so that you can avoid having a hip replacement surgery. You, if you can take that pressure off in the short term using devices like the walker, the crutches and the cane, and then take it off in the long term so that you're not having recurring hip problems by fixing the muscle imbalance, then you can be free of hip arthritis problems and get back to living life, doing everything you love to do. Hey, if this video was helpful for you, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment below if we've, if we've ever helped you out. Go check out our other videos from our hip arthritis help playlist that links in the description and please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos that we post each and every week. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.